All more the way where they don't take see this country where they call Nigeria finish. <laughs> Even the UK where we they talk say now then they control the Nigeria and then they control the country and then get Nigeria. <laughs> They said their hand, no, they say that the country no get any level. People like uh, this, um, what did they call them? This royal family people say they know, I know, say this uh, Prince, um, is it uh, Meghan, come Nigeria, Prince Harry, and uh, Meghan Markle's visit. I know, say they visit Nigeria recently. They said they are not, Nigeria is not worthy to receive them. See, they, they are not supposed to visit a country. Like Nigeria. When I see this news, I say, eh? <laughs> say even this Allen Onyema now will be saying, I'm the Oga Pata Pata of APs. Say that one, a criminal, a AP. So <laughs> when I hear this thing, say my ears open, I say, what? They say that the United States of America, they find Allen Onyema for money laundering. See, if they if try and enter inside the US, see, they go, they go use handcuffs, they turn in two hands to one. I say, okay. Well. <laughs> Make a first read on this one before we go to Alain Onyema's uh, money laundering issue. Voila, you know they finish. Now, Nigeria is not a country that should be endorsed by anyone. Did you hear that statement? You go watch them for video now. It should not be endorsed by anyone. Our royal family members, we never set foot there. British media personalities get salty over Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's visit. They say Nigeria is not a country to be endorsed. The kind of criminality, the kind of arrogance, the kind of um, injustice going on in Nigeria. I make the British uh, royal family, they talk say Nigeria is not a country for anybody to endorse. And that is what people have been clamoring for, that Nigeria has failed, Nigeria is dead, Nigeria should be split by now. There should be a new referendum, there should be a new negotiation. For Nigeria to stand stronger. For we are, they no agree. So that whether people wants to go away or they want to continue to stay, they can decide. They no agree. Tell the way they want to come together now. Take discuss this thing. They don't use they don't use hammer. Use use as they break and into pieces. What they go during a recent um, show show focused on Harry and Meghan's visit to Nigeria, a British media personality, Kevin O. Sullivan. Described Nigeria as a lawless country, okay, with where female gender mutilation is rife, where women have no rights at all, and where children are kidnapped by Islamic terrorists, okay. He also claimed that Harry and Meghan are making Nigeria look good when it doesn't deserve it. Nigeria is, thank God, saying a British person, British person from waiting with this office from the royal family from queen elizabeth's family now then they tell us say nigeria is not a responsible country nigeria is lawless nigeria is insecure nigeria is a terrorist place and then they talk and no be me they talk and when i go hear them from him of the horse's mouth now he also claimed that harry and Meghan are making nigeria look good when it does not deserve it on the same he said nigeria no no, they look good at all. Nigeria is a responsible country. Okay. This was backed by Mikhail Kohl, a royal commentator who claimed that Nigeria vies with Johannesburg as mother capital of Africa. <laughs> South Africa and Nigeria, they say no, that they buy five people pass for Africa. If they count the number of people where, where they buy, they lose their lives every day on daily basis in the country. They say Nigeria are number one, followed by South Africa in Johannesburg. Cole also claimed that Nigerians defraud British women seeking love and not, uh, nothing is being done about it. It is, however, interesting to note that the media company, which shares all its interview clips on Instagram, refused to share this particular clip, which has now gone viral. On a decision. So they even they hide them before. <laughs> they even they hide them before. Maybe they for no no. But the clip don't come out. We still see them. Make on watch the video here. Ah, help me share Amo. Help me share this video. Maybe they see. And I'll tell you this, you'll know this, Michael. You've been on enough royal tours. There's no way 
our royal family would set foot in Nigeria, a country uh, where female, female uh, uh, mutilation, genital mutilation is rife, where women's rights basically don't exist, where hundreds of kids are regularly uh, kidnapped by uh, extremist Islamic groups. This is not a country that should be endorsed by anyone, uh, certainly not our royal family. And these two uh, neophytes, they're naive in what they're doing. They're, in, they're making this country look good when it doesn't deserve it. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't tell you the number of royal tours I've been on, and what you say is absolutely right. You know, Nigeria, the Foreign Office and the American State Department both say it's a dangerous destination, you must not go there. It vies with Johannesburg in South Africa to be the murder capital of, of the continent. And you and I know that in that country there's industrial scale boiler rooms of people who are ripping off people around the world, uh, internet fraud, wholesale internet fraud, uh, defrauding old ladies, uh, stealing identities, and none of that is ever prosecuted. Now, as we know, uh, there he is on his polo pony playing uh, in, in favour of one of his African charities. As we know, Prince Harry came back and said this country was not safe enough for him. He took his father's <laughs> government, yeah. government to court over it. Eventually, a, a judge slapped him down and said he couldn't have a permission to appeal. Otherwise, he would have appealed. Now, he's gone to that country there where it's an extremely dangerous place. He had, admittedly, four burly uh, bodyguards with him. But how he can maintain that, that the level of armed protection for him when he's in, an, in this country... And when we saw him here last week, he had very, very adequate uh, protection. They want to be adored and... On another sea case, well, I too much. Huh. They say Nigeria is not a co country to be endorsed. <laughs> Let me see, finish with that. We, is, we are living like animals. That is exactly what he meant. Make on see another matter where we say they suffer. They say that Ale no Nyemas na fugitive now. <laughs> where they run from prosecution. Now, the British media led by Daily Mail on Saturday linked the visit of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to Nigeria to an alleged $20 million money laundering case against the chairman and the founder of Airpeace, whom the newspaper labeled as a fugitive. According to the British media report, the prince and his wife, who are the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, were welcomed to Nigeria by Onyema, a fugitive who has been federally indicted in the United States for allegedly orchestrating a $20 million money laundering and bank fraud scheme. The Daily Mail report came days after another British media, the Mirror, reported that Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cambridge, Williams, was reportedly enraged over his brother Prince Harry's visit to Nigeria with Meghan Markle. The British newspaper had claimed that Prince William was determined to stop Harry and Meghan's royal tour as one royal expert was said to believe that Prince Harry and Meghan's recent trip to Nigeria angered the Prince of Wales. Hmm. Mm, you get people with the we be say we go to say now then even they do Nigeria. No, no, see their hand don't come out. See these people, they don't see the country finish. See? <laughs> the mirror reported that a royal expert revealed that uh, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had left King Charles and Prince William absolutely furious with their Nigerian tour. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex has visited Nigeria over the weekend to promote the Invictus game. Sarah reporters had on May 10th reported that Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Marco arrived in Nigeria for an unofficial tour that lasted three days. Oh, now they say, now wait till we they see for here, oh, they say, I'll let you know, man, I'm fugitive. We will see, don't basically $20 million in money laundering in USA. Say, if USA, Pattaya Kana, say, if they grab him, <laughs> say, now two hands, now go turn one. So now they see all these people who fool our country, billionaires doing well. They need a fee travel good certain countries because of waiting they don't commit. Now the first time when are they here, say I'll let no mana get case to answer in the United, uh, United States of America. The same way where the Jagaban still get 
all the people will be sitting there on top, billionaires, and so so case, then they get case of tiffin, or they sell it. I make, make one I may share this video. Thank you.